All right, let's begin with a multiplication problem. Nine times six hundred thirty-five. Last week, and in the beginning of this week, we used the strategy of partitioning rectangles. Can somebody uh, volunteer to help lead us through this strategy? Isabel. So first, we uh, draw a rectangle. And then we, we put nine on the, um, on the side, because that's what we're going to do this time. And then we're going we're gonna to partition the rectangle. We're, um, we're going to put a line through it on one side. And we're going to put two, um, 635 on the top, but um, we're going to be partition, uh, partitioning, so we can split up the 635. Good. Let's. Uh, why would we split the 635 up? Uh, so it could be easier to um, multiply. Great. How would you like to split up 635? So um, I would like to split it up, up to 600, and then... Is there an easier way for us to partition this, Isabel? We could do 30 and then 5. And then 5. And that's because 9 times 35 would be a bit challenging. Okay, Isabel, now that we've partitioned the rectangle, how does this help us? So we would do 9 times 600 and um, 9 times 6 is 54. Now we know that 9 times 6 is 54. And then we add the two zeros from the 600. That would be 5,400. And then 9 times 30, we um, you know that 9 times 3 is 27. And then we add the 0 from the 30. Add the 0 from the 30. Which is 270. And then 9 um, times 5 is 45. And then we add 5,400 plus 200. 270 plus 45. Fantastic. We're going to take these partial products, 5,400, 270, and 45. Being very careful about place value, noticing that our digits in the ones place, tens place, hundreds, and thousands are lining up neatly. Now what do we do? So we start from the ones place. Um, 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. And then 7 plus 4 is 11, and we carry, um, in the tens place, we carry the 1 over to... So we have a 1 in the tens place, yeah. and... And then in the hundreds place, we carry the, the 10. Okay. And then, so, um, 4 plus 2 is 6, um, plus 1 is 7, and then we just add a 5, and so the answer is... Fantastic. Two big claps for Isabel. Ready? One, two. Awesome job. Okay. Um, now, now let's go ahead and uh, carry this forward, and let's take a look at the strategy of partial products. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, draw a line here to separate our strategies. This uh, over here on the left-hand side, what we did with this rectangle was we partitioned. Rectangle. Now we're going to show partial products. Who can help us with partial products? Chase. Okay, so first we write um, 635 times 9. Uh, do we write a horizontal like we see it here? Vertically, 600, I'm sorry, I'm going to move this over just a bit. That's 635 times 9. Paying special attention to place value here. Chase, uh, what would you like to do first? So first, we do 9 times 600. 
Yeah, 9 times 6. We see this 9, and the 6 is in the hundreds place, so we know that it's actually not 9 times 6, but 9 times 600. And that is equal to? Well, 9 times 6 is 54. We add two zeros behind it. Again, notice how neat my place value is. Okay, 5,400. Good, Chase. What do we do next? Uh, next, we do 9 times 30. And 9 times that 3. That 3 happens to be in what place? Uh, the tenth place? And how many tens do we have? 3. So that is 9 times 30. Uh, 9 times 30 is 270. 270. And then finally? times 5, which is equal to 45. Are we done? Uh, no, next we add all the numbers. Now we need to add up our partial products. And if we've done a good job of keeping our work neat, we have a good sense of place value. We can start in the ones place. 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 7 plus 4 is um, 11. So what do we do now? Carry one to the hundreds place. One hundred plus four hundred plus two hundreds. Uh, seven hundreds. Five. And our answer is five thousand seven hundred fifteen. The reason why we show you multiple strategies uh, in, in fourth in fourth grade is to really find it, uh, an easy way for you guys to understand multiplication. Uh, partitioning rectangles is a fantastic way multiply and a lot of us have a very strong understanding of that. We will move now towards a more efficient way of multiplying using the partial products uh, method and you'll see connections between the two. For instance here in this first cell you see 5,000, 4,000, 4,000, 400, 400, 2,000, 400 and the partial products method is more efficient because it now takes away this whole need to draw this rectangle. You see connections between these two strategies here. Okay. So again, this is a fantastic strategy that we're going to use amongst the many other many other strategies that we talked about in class, including partitioning rectangles, this strategy of partial products. Uh, we've talked about doubling and halving our factors. And then uh, we're going to lead to the traditional algorithm, which many of you guys know as well. You guys did a fantastic job. Let's get two big claps for you yourselves. Ready? One, two. Nice job.